for uh, this morning's offering. Uh, just a reminder that uh, if you would like to give um, here physically at church, there is a collection plate uh, at the back on a little table there, and you may uh, place your offering there as you leave the service. At the end of the service, we're not passing the plate around for uh, sanitary reasons, but you may give there. Uh, wanted to highlight particularly today's offering. It is for our local diaconal fund. Um, our diaconal fund is incredibly important. This fund is the fund that the deacons draw from whenever there is a particular need among the folks of our congregation or uh, among the people in our, our local area if there's a particular need that comes up. In other churches and denominations, it's often called a benevolence fund. Uh, it, is, uh, it is sort of uh, the tool in the chest of the deacons to help out with particular needs at particular times in this local area. And the reason that I highlight it this morning is not only because it is such a particularly important tool in the toolbox of the deacons, but also because at this moment our deacon fund is running pretty low. Um, and so that does not equip our deacons to be able to do their work uh, in quite the way that we normally would. Now, and so if you could prayerfully consider that. Um, if you do not want to give in person physically, you of course can always send an e-transfer to our treasurer, treasurer at athenscrc.org, uh, or you can send an old-fashioned by mail check uh, if you want to do that, uh, or you can pop something during the week if there's somebody here in the church, you can pop something into the box that is located at the back and has a picture of the church on it. So um, there are lots of different ways uh, in which you can give. In terms of congregational prayer, um, <clears throat> the only particular update I have is that Lita um, continues to be in the hospital, or is she home again? Okay, so um, Lita, as you know, her health has been... Um, She's been struggling with her health quite significantly over the past few weeks. Um, she did go into the hospital uh, last week and has been there since then. And uh, uh, Clarence was saying that they are hopeful, Bill and uh, the doctors are hopeful that perhaps um, she will be able to come home today. Um, but we don't know that for sure. She was doing quite a bit better on Friday and Saturday for which we are very grateful. Um, so please keep that in your prayers, along with the many other things that we have to pray for uh, in our congregation and the many things we have to praise for as well. Let us come to, congregational, to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you again for drawing us together this morning. Thank you for the many faces that are here today, and thank you also for those who will participate uh, next week in this service as it is recorded. Lord, we pray that those online will be blessed by community together with us who are here in person, even though we are separated by, by distance and by time. And uh, Lord, we just we pray for that unity. Father, we pray as well that you will continue to bless the many in our church who are struggling with health concerns, whether that be mental or physical or spiritual or emotional or whatever struggles they are having, having O oh God. We pray for those particularly who are struggling with cancer and with other physical ailments, O oh God. We pray um, particularly for Lita right now. We thank you, O oh God, that she was doing so much better uh, yesterday and uh, the day before. Lord, we pray that um, if it be your will, uh, that she would come home, uh, hopefully today, but that also you would strengthen Bill and uh, the rest of the family to um, care for her with whatever needs she may have but that you will work through her body's own processes as well to strengthen her. Oh God, we pray too. We pray too 
that you will provide healing to this world, O God. We recognize that it is not only our sins that need cleansing, but also the sins of all people, past, present, and future. We are all de in desperate need of you, not only as individuals, O oh God, God, but also together, as groups, as, as nations, as provinces, as cities, as villages, as friends. We all sin and fall short of your glory, O oh God. Lord, we pray that you would come again soon and create all things new. Lord, we pray that in the meantime, you would guide each and every one of us and all of us together that we may glorify you in whatever we do, that we may make your kingdom visible for the people of this world. And that they may be encouraged and strengthened and brought into relationship with you, a good relationship with you. <clears throat> Father, we pray too for the children who are about to go for Sunday school. We pray that you will bless them, that you will bless their teachers and helpers, that you will help all of them <clears throat> to know you more and to grow in faith and in closeness to you. Father, we pray as well that you would do similarly for us, that you would open our hearts to hear what you would have us hear in your scriptures today. We pray this all, asking as well, that you would bless these tithes and offerings that, you, that we give. Lord, may they be a pleasing aroma to you. And may the deacons be enabled, as you have already empowered them, to give wisely and helpfully and in your name to those who need it most. Praying all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen.